Good evening. Welcome to our Campfire Vespers. This is Pastor Lisa. Tonight we continue with Jessica Ritchie and Kate Bowler's book, The Lives We Actually Have, um, a book of blessings. And tonight I'm going to share a blessing for this lovely day. So our icebreaker is share about a lovely day that you have had. Any day I get to spend with my wife is a lovely day. Um, I don't have to think because she tells me what to do. She tells me where to go, uh, tells me what I'm going to eat. So all I have to do is just listen to her and it's a beautiful day. So any day I get to spend with my wife and do what she tells me to do is a wonderful day. A lovely day that I had was on our honeymoon when we were out fishing and we just caught a bunch of fish and it was just so fun. The water was beautiful. It was nice out. It was just a lovely day. So our scripture for a lovely day is from Philippians 4, 8. In conclusion, my friends, fill your minds with those things that are good and that deserve praise. Things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and honorable. So I'd like to share our blessing now. For this lovely day, God, this season has been such a slog that it's hard to remember what it was like, to be surprised by wonder. I no longer notice the little things that used to stop me in my tracks, like the bird's song or the redbud's blossom or the twinkling sky or the sound of his laugh or their crinkly nose smile. They have become white noise, a blur of details in my daily grind. Refresh me, O oh God. Remind me of the loveliness found in today. Surprise me with the details I have lost the eyes to see. Blessed are we awakening from the boredom of, the, of routine, desiring to drink in for, from the beauty around us once again full of the love you have given us the joy that is hidden among the reeds of the ordinary blessed are we who desire to feel our hearts soar with the glory set in the heavens the moon and the stars with awe at the people right in front of us with the beauty of the lily and its elegant purity and the mystery and power of the tiniest seed bursting to life as it was always destined to do. This world you made, it is irreducibly sublime. Blessed are we who ask for hearts that are soft, for eyes that are awake, for ears that are open, for hands to hold the wonder that is here now. So what did you hear in this blessing? One thing that I hear in this blessing is awakening and noticing. Many days it's easy to wake up and and notice this lovely day. Like I remember when I was driving um, back to Evans City after the day after my uncle's funeral. And um, I stopped at a rest stop and came out and it was just gorgeous watching the sun rising over the horizon of like the highway of where I was driving and because I was driving east and um it was just so cool or coming out of the house at my mom and dad's and and just seeing the the sun coming up over the mountain um going to the beach um watching the sunrise over the over the bay um just those are you know you know for sure that you know, that it's a lovely day. Um, ex you know, I've woken up days that I knew certain things were going to happen and I'm excited. You know, I have music in my heart. I'm just ready for good things. And I thank God for that lovely day. There are other days that I'm just like going through the day, going through the motion. Um, no thoughts of loveliness in my mind. Maybe... I'm in the boredom of the routine or as, um, as the blessing shares, um, 
But yet, as we begin each lovely day, our scripture reminds us to fill our minds with good things that deserve praise. So when you wake up in the morning, what do you fill your mind with? Do we fill our minds that make our hearts want to soar with things that make our hearts want to soar? Do we open our eyes to wonder? Are our eyes open to notice those around us that maybe need a hand? Can we see God's beauty around us and the loveliness of the day? Um, when I also thought of you know, the lovely day. Of course, I share in so many days. I, I feel really blessed to have lots of lovely days. Um, but I thought back, um, I'm listening to a, an audio book and it's, um, actually a story about a lady and her husband, um, fiction, but about their experience in COVID. And so I was kind of thinking a little bit back of, 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 you know, 2020 and, and I thought about, I really, what ended up being a lovely day, um, uh, May of 2020, when things were still closed for the most part, but maybe a little bit opening up, but um, we had, as a church, we had been participating in Produce to People, um, which people came in and we went through the line with them or passed out the food to them and they took it, fresh fruits and vegetables and so they weren't able to do that because of COVID, but what they decided to do were extra um, food distributions. And so um, at one of the parks in Butler, you wound all the way through. And as you went in as volunteers, you could see the cars already lined up and they were going to wind their way all the way through the park. And they came to us and we had, you know, many lines um, where they would just pull up um, so many cars at a time and we would put the box of food in. So I ended up being a flag person, you know, I'd flag them um, on through the lines or flag them as they, you know, um, as they were leaving. And, um, and so um, in doing that, I heard many people share just many needs and many thanks of just um, needing the food and thank you for being out here. And just hearing that, but, feeling the needs of so many at that time and how, and feeling their gratefulness. It was just, um, a really lovely day. Um, even though I know that most of the people weren't experiencing that, but yet when they came to got their food, there was a little bit of beauty in it. And even there was a car that was back in the line. We were running out, they had prepared for a thousand and, and we we're almost out of food, but, they made sure to save a box for this car that was it had been in line, but their car broke down, and so to make sure that they were able to get their box of food. Um, so I think a lot of um, the loveliness of our days is just being open to God and um, the wonder that is is around us. So um, I'd like to share a couple quotes. One is, "Every day is a good day. Some days." are just a little better than others. And that's by um, Jeff Garthwaite. And I'd like to change that quote to every day is a lovely day. Some are just a little lovelier than others. Um, Ramez Sasson said, as the rising sun fills the world with its light, so let your positive thoughts fill your life and brighten your day and make your day lovely. So during each new lovely day, let us fill our minds with things that are true and noble, right and pure and honorable and lovely. So I'd like to close tonight with open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. We cry, holy, 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 you are holy, 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 I want to see you, I 
want to see you. I want to see you. Let us pray. God, we thank you for this lovely day. We thank you for each thing that has made the moments of this day lovely. We thank you for, for helping us to perhaps make this day lovely for someone else. We pray that you continue to open our eyes so that we can see the lovely around us. There are often times that what we see is not so lovely. It's heartbreaking, heart-wrenching. It brings tears to our eyes. Things that humble us, things that anger us, things that worry us. But tonight, God, we thank you for this lovely day. We pray for the needs of each one and the needs of our country and world. We pray for those who are sick in need of healing. We thank you, God, for all of your creation, for your scriptures, for songs, for the loveliness of this day, and for the wonder all around us. Amen. Thanks and have a good night.